Live from a suburban home in southwestern Ohio, it's Let's Play Rhythm Heaven! And now, here's your host... Okay, that's enough of that. Steep Tunster, everybody. It's time to rock out. That's right, it's Rockers. This is a short but sweet game. Uh, pretty much all you're utilizing here is flicking, but it's a little more complicated than that, of course. I can't believe I just skipped the tutorial, but here we go. Time to explain things on the fly. So pretty much what you're doing is just trying to mimic this guy on the left. One. And after you flick the first time, you uh, hold down the screen again to mute so you can play the right beats. Alright. That last one there you have to cut off really quick. And there'll be special notes too. Whoops. Alright, I got those last three at least. Here's some long ones. Come on. Here comes a special one. Yeah, when he says come on, you do those four notes like that. One, two, one, two. So yeah, pretty much really simple. One, two, again. Come on. One, two, three, four. Those four notes like that I cut off a little early though. And this last one here is just three quick notes. Like that. I didn't play that perfectly, but that's how it's done. And I think we did okay there. Ooh. What? I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. I, in my practice, I didn't even get a superb, but now on the actual LP, I've got it. Nice. Well, there you go. Unexpected things happen when you least expect it. Well, well, that made a lot of sense, of course. That's why they call them unexpected things. Whatever. And now it's time for an old favorite. Because it's back to Karate Joe. That's this guy's actual name here. Yep, recognize him. The guy whose head looks like Charlie Brown or Tommy Pickles from the Rugrats or something. Whoops. So yeah, you're going to get these pots thrown at you. You just hit them to the beat. Like everything else in this game. That three they do there, they only do that once in the actual game, which is kind of weird. And in addition to these pots, you also get these light bulbs thrown out. And after a light bulb, there'll be a barrel thrown out. And when you hit those barrels, there'll immediately be a bomb inside. And you have to flick right, right, right after you break open the barrel in order to get rid of the bomb. Because some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Okay, that's really old. Struck by the rain, and it's funny because it's snowing out, so the song doesn't even match the visuals at all. One, two, oh, dang it! You saw me flick there. If you saw the right side of the screen, you saw that I flicked, and this game is just picky. What? It's bull crap. Better get this one. There we go. Jeez. Took me a while. I still don't understand all the lyrics to this song because I never pay attention to them. This time will be no different. Especially now when I have to talk the whole thing. Man, I'm missing a lot here. But I guess that's to be expected. Even the pots I'm messing up. And that's the easiest part. One, two. Yeah, this is another game where you're just keeping a continuous beat. It's like the theme of this tier of games, I swear, man. <laughs> Did you see that? He blushed when the singer went, uh uh. Oh, yeah, you know what he's thinking. Here's the three. The only one in the game. And I whiffed one of them. One, two. Oh, come on! That is bull crap. I am flicking there. I swear it. Maybe I'm just not releasing early enough. Because you gotta be pretty, pretty quick about it. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. This game brings back a lot of memories, man. I remember exactly where I was when I was first playing this. I was at a Great Wolf Lodge in Traverse City, Michigan. Oh, come on. Ooh. Summer of 2009. Good years. Or good times. It was a good year, too. It's right in between my junior and senior year of high school. Alright, let's get these bombs for once, man. One, two. There we go. Yeah, let's throw a bunch at you here at the end. Miss that last one. Actually, there is one more note. That one right there will get you if you're not prepared. And I don't think I passed that, believe it or not. 
Oh, okay, maybe. Maybe, yeah, okay. Phew. I really didn't want to do that again, to be honest. Let's break for lunch. Ugh. Looked like a pretty good meal there, man. If it weren't 3 in the clock in the morning, I'd be hungry, maybe. And here we go, 6-3 mix. What are they going to throw at us here? Maybe three Saturn-like planets there at the top. I think those are on every remix. Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh man, nice afros. I'm digging those. One, two, three. Oh, the flicks. The flicks. Oh, nice hair. When'd you get that done in the past ten seconds? Two. Alright, there we go. Finally got that apart. Oh, come on, don't miss the first one. Two. Oh, lockstep time. The way it transitions in the lockstep, it's like, it really mixes well with the last game you're doing. See, like, I was going to hit that ball, but instead I went into lockstep. Alright. It'll do it again, too. It's you got to be pretty prepared for it. Even though I don't really know how it's possible if you're doing this for the first time. Oh, come on. Yeah, see? I would have kept kicking, but now I'm in lockstep. And don't think that you're just going to do the... This... Ha! 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 And they'll be over. You'll actually have to do the offbeats. Too, eventually. Just... Getting the transitional part of the song, too. Boom. Pretty much repeats itself here. Yeah. It does. I'll start ramping up here in a sec. Repeats itself for a third time. Is this a fourth time here? Looks like it is. This is one where we'll do off beats. Oop. Almost missed that transition. I like that green color they use for this remix. Oop. I'm surprised I didn't miss more of those flicks. Oh, dang it! I was thinking about hitting that, but I realized that at the last second and wasn't able to do it. Oh, what? Jeez. I've never failed that remix before. There's a first time for everything, though. I'm not even going to read that message. It's too insulting. Yeah, this game's not that bad. It goes easy on you, as far as the comments go, or the criticism, I should say. All right, let's try to get this right this time. Three-star afro. We can find the other star afros and some of the afro dragon to grant our wish. Our funky wish. What the heck am I talking about, man? One, two, three. If you notice that my audio sounds a little bit different for this video, it's because yet again I've gone through another headset mic. Like, for some reason, the mic on my old headset, which I'm still using for the audio, but I can't record on it. It'll like pick up the game audio on the microphone and that just interferes with everything. I don't know what happened to it. But I have a backup. I'm using one of these dildo mics as I like to call them. I've had it for quite a long time. So hopefully the quality isn't too bad on it. Hopefully it's not as bad as the quality of my playing of this game. If that makes any sense. Ugh to go in the lockstep there. Here we go. Alright, back to this part where it repeats four times. Two. Alright, so the second one. one. Oh. How come I keep missing the first one at lockstep? Have you noticed that? Maybe it's my emulator lagging or something? I don't know. Oh, there it was fine. Hmm. It's weird. Oh, come on! How can I whip both of those? Two. Boom. Alright, I think we got it now. It actually switches back to the regular beats, too, at the end of that long step section. Come on! At least I got the soccer ball kick. Jeez. Can I pass this now? I think I did okay. What? I can't believe this, man. I failed it twice in a row. Alright, let's read it. If you were a soccer player, you'd be late after practice. That's because my mom wouldn't come pick me up. Because she's got laundry to do. I don't know. Jeez. 
Oh look, I'm over 101 flow. Hmm. Well. <sighs> only one thing to do. You can't move on unless you do this. So I'll see you guys when I do this. Alright, throw me a bone here, game. I did okay. Oh, that was really great? What? I got a superb? Jeez. I got about a change in mood. If you were a soccer player, we'd be screaming, Go! Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry for even holding it that long. Oh, hey. You did it. You cleared Remix 6. That's impressive work. Oh, I'd say. You're not done yet, though. There's still more to play. Well, yeah. But we thought this would be a nice time to show you all the people who worked on the game. All oh, great. Just like in the last game, they're going to do the credits like right in the middle and trip you up. But we can endure it. Get some nice visuals to go along with it anyway. For some reason, I remember this game being like interactive. Like you could actually control the guy at the end, like the one in the foreground. But it doesn't seem like it does that. It just does it automatically. So I don't know if I'm wrong or something's different. I don't know. But oh well, let's just enjoy the credit music. Oh boy. I'm telling you, man. I need to get my sleep schedule. I like to. I need to get a con concrete sleep schedule. Because in June, I was like, oh, it was crazy. I was going to bed at like 7 or 8 in the morning. And that was actually kind of early. Like, more like 9, 10 in the morning. And waking up at like 5 or 6. Which is ridiculous. I was fully nocturnal. But now I'm back to like a freaking going to bed at 11 p.m. and waking up at 6 in the morning. I don't know. Ah, oh, but enough about me. Let's give our support to all these great people in Japan that gave us this crazy game. T. O'Leary? What the heck? That's familiar. Oh, I'm thinking about Timothy Leary. I doubt he had anything to do with this game, but sometimes you have to wander with all the trippy visuals. Special thanks to you. They give you a credit in the game. Isn't that nice? Or maybe they're referring to all the characters where it says you. So maybe it's like a third person version of you? I don't know. You gotta love the dog running around in the background too. You can actually keep up with you even though you're on a freaking like motor skateboard or something or airboard. Whatever. And now it's actually gonna go through all the different characters of the game. Which aren't too many so this won't be much longer. You gotta get the dog first dibs. He's a trooper alright. The notes. He kinda looks like, well, Something that makes babies, I'll leave it at that. Chorus kids, how, how could we forget them? Oh, the paddler. The freaking paddler. We aren't quite done with him. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be dreading that. Look at the Moai in the freaking spotlight. If that's not troll face, I don't know what is. Stomper. Looks like he's had a hard day of work. That mole looks like he's smoking a cigar, is it? Is he? I'm gonna have to back that up, even though there's really no way to do that. We got a bug-eyed blue DJ, or student, I guess he's called. Oh, who's that peering at us on the left side of the screen? It's the bear from the Love Lab. Dog Ninja. Gotta love him. He's got an exclamation point at the end of his name. That's how important he is. The Rockers. Yeah, gotta love the rockers. And yeah, his name is Karate Joe. Hmm. I always used to just call him Karate Man. Oh, and look at the freaking pelican learning how to sing. Isn't that nice? Now we're back to the frog. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, he did it again. Oh, nice wink. I, I love that wink, man. Something about it. It's just like, congratulations, bro. Ooh, what's this? The move icon just got a power up. It's evolved into its third form. Because yes, we actually have four more tiers of games to go. We're not quite done yet. We're really only a little over halfway. But now we're moving on to levels that sort of we've already done, but now we get mu we get much harder versions of them. So as you can see here, we got Built to Scale 2, which is a harder version of Built to Scale, obviously. And I might as well just demonstrate this off a little bit. Make it a little bit longer video. It's pretty much the same as Built to Scale 1, as you might expect, but there's quite a bit more notes and there's a different 
color scheme here. You get a fast one. Like that. And there's going to be a lot of those, so be on your toes. They can trip you up your first time through. Definitely did to me. Ooh, almost missed that one. In the parts before where you'd get a rest, no more rest for you, man. You always got to be ready to flick. I missed one. Damn. It was going to happen eventually. Do, do, do. It's nice. There's still some funky beats, though, here. They come out at nice times. Alright. Down with the slow parts. Let's move on, man. Get a nice blitz of them coming up. Two. So far, it's the same. Alright, is there anything different here in this part? I guess not, really. No, really not. Here it comes. Yeah, that one's different. Four, five. Haha! -ha! Can't trick me here. Oh, dang it. Completely missed that one. And you can't rest here at this blackout. Ooh, got it! I don't think I've ever hit that no on the emulator, but I finally did. Yay. Yet again, doing something great on the LP. And not in practice. Oh, dang it. Oh, wow. I really whipped a bunch there. That probably prevented me from getting a superb medal. But oh well, I'm not after it for the medals. Oh yeah, I am good at the fast ones, aren't I? Yep, just okay. And I am perfectly okay with just okay. Especially when they're all lined up to look like okay. It's just more time wasted there, if you ask me. I'd be pretty pissed if I was their manager. Oh, perfect in Remix 5? Yeah, maybe never. <laughs> Alright guys, so next time we're going to hit it off with The Dazzles 2. The other game that lags on the emulator. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Or should I say, thank you very much. See you guys then.